Hi, this is Teresa Jackson. Today I'm going to answer the question, how do I combine multiple images as separate layers into a single Photoshop document? Because if you want to combine images or create a composite in Photoshop, you first need to get all of the images into a single document. I have four images here that I want to use for a composite, a butterfly, a flower, a cool texture, and a warm texture. There are always more than one way to do any single task in Photoshop. In this video, I will show you eight different ways to combine these four images as single layers in a single Photoshop document. Number one, tabbed drag and drop. By default, multiple images open as tab documents, so we'll start with this first method. I'll take the flower by clicking on the tab for the flower and drag it into the butterfly by clicking on the flower in the image area here, holding my mouse down, dragging up till I get to the tab for butterfly. That brings that forward. I'm still holding the mouse button down. I drag down into the image and let go. That moved the flower. Next, we'll move the cool texture. I'm going to do the same process. This time I'm going to hold my shift key down, which will center it when it places it. Finally, we'll move the warm texture by doing the same method. And now in the butterfly document, I have all four layers. And you'll notice that the layers I moved in are named layer one, two, and three, and the butterfly is the background layer. Number two, floating windows drag and drop. I'm going to go to window, arrange, float all in windows. Now these aren't in the tabbed view anymore. They're floating independently. I'm going to move the butterfly down a little bit out of the way here. Click on the warm texture and from here I can just grab the warm texture and drag it into the butterfly document. And then I'll close out the warm texture. I'll click on the cool texture to bring it forward. I can also drag from the layer into the butterfly. And then I'll close this one out. If, and then I'll drag from the image here, and if I hold my shift key down, it will center it, the same as dragging and dropping from the tab document. I'll close out the flower image. You'll see that we accomplish the same thing as the first method of dragging and dropping between tab documents. Number three, arrange four up, drag and drop. For this method, I'm going to go back to window, arrange, this time pick four up. This puts all four documents in the same workspace. Just so we can see what's going on a little better here, I'm going to zoom out on the butterfly so that we can see the whole uh, document. If I select the flower, I can drag it over into the butterfly. I can also drag from the layer panel. And again, if I drag and drop holding the shift key down, it will center it. Number four, copy and paste. For the next method, I'm going to return to the tabbed view by going Window, Arrange, Consolidate All to Tabs. I can copy the contents of the flower document by going to Select, Select All, and then copying the contents of what I've selected by going to Edit, Copy. That copies it to the clipboard. Then I'll switch to the butterfly document and paste the contents from the clipboard by going Edit, Paste. And that copied the flower contents into the butterfly contents. I'll switch to the cool texture and do the same thing. This time I'll use a keyboard shortcut Command-A or Control-A to select everything. And then a Command-C or Control-C and then I'll switch back to the butterfly and do a command V or control V for paste. We'll do it one more time with the warm. So that's a control command A or control A to select everything. And whoops, I got to copy it to a command C or a control C. And then we'll switch to the butterfly and do a command V or a control V. And you'll see this created the same result as the drag and drop methods did. Number five, duplicate layer. You can duplicate a layer from one document into another open document 
and there's three different ways to get to the duplicate layer option. One is under layer, duplicate layer. Two is under the options for the layers panel. You'll find it here. And the third is to do a right click or a control click right on the layer. And all three of those will take you to the same duplicate layer panel. Now from here you have to pick a destination. If you just say OK, it'll duplicate it in the same document. But under destination where it says document, if you click there you'll see all of your open documents. So I can pick butterfly JPEG, say OK. When I switch back to the butterfly JPEG you'll see that the flower has been copied into the butterfly. I'll switch to the cool texture to duplicate it. One of the benefits of using this method is that you can rename your layer as you're copying it. So I can call this cool texture. And when I switch back to the butterfly document, you'll see that it's been copied here with a new name. We'll do that one more time with the warm texture. When I switch back to the butterfly document, I have all four layers here and the texture layers were named when they were placed into this. Number six, file place. With the file place method, you only need to have the first document open. Go to file, place embedded, select the image, click the place button, and then click the check mark at the top to commit that. I'll do the same thing again, file, place embedded, this time I'll pick the warm texture and I'll do it one more time, but this time I'll choose place linked instead of place embedded and choose the cool texture. Now let's take a close look at the layers panel. It's a bit different than the previous methods. The file place method places the images with the layer names of their document names, which is a really nice feature to have. It places them as smart object layers, which is nice because you can run smart filters on them. You can also scale these layers up and down without losing any information. I'll do a control T on the flower, scale it all the way down to a tiny size, commit it, and then I'll do a command T and scale it back up and you'll see that I didn't lose any pixel information. Number seven, open as layers from Adobe Bridge. From Adobe Bridge you can open all four images directly into a single document in Photoshop by selecting all four and going to Tools, Photoshop, Load Files into Photoshop Layers. This method opens each of them places them together in a brand new document. We can see in the name up here that it's Untitled 1. And each come in as a layer with a name from the original document. Number eight, open as layers from Lightroom. Finally, you can use Adobe Lightroom to open as layers in Photoshop. Select all four, go to Photo, Edit In, Open as Layers in Photoshop. This method created the same result as starting from Bridge for open in layers. 